Welcome to our, our first installment of the GIS videos that we'll have for uh, labs and lectures throughout the semester. Um, now, if you think this doesn't look polished, this is like the fifth time that I've done this, so we'll see if I actually get it right this time. Um, so I got our catalog up here. So you should find the, the link to it, um, the program on, on under the sciences folder on your on your desktop on the lab machines. So you're gonna open this up, you're gonna kinda get this blank screen here. Now our catalog. Um, what is it? You've used ArcMap, that's one of the pieces of software that comes with Esri's ArcGIS software suite. And Arc Catalog is another piece that you're gonna learn a little about today. Um, it's the equivalent of the Microsoft File Explorer. So it allows us to look through GIS data that we've got. Um, look through it, see thumbnails, look at the data itself, look at the attribute tables, and learn more about it uh, in something called the metadata. So it's going to be useful for us to find data that we're going to use for our projects and for our cartography. So if you need a boundary file, you'll probably go through our catalog to find it. Now, this is going to be a little frustrating to use. Don't blame me. I'm just the messenger. Didn't design this thing. Right off the bat, if I go over here and try to go through the, the look at something, I got folder connections there, but there's nothing there. Um, for this software to work, I've got to tell it where to look. It doesn't, by default, look at your C drive or uh, your D drive or anything else. We've got to tell it where to look. Um, it's a, a, a pretty useful tool. It's going to allow us to connect to things on our on our C drive or on our network. It's also going to allow us to connect to different data servers out there. This can connect to stuff over the web. We'll do some of that later on the semester. So for right now, we'll just be messing with these folder connections. So I can go to this plus button up here. It says connect to folder. Let's go find something useful to look at. All right, I click on that, and I see all the different things that are I've got access to. Network files, the computer, my home folder. Um, right now, we're interested in finding the data that we've got sitting on the U drive. So I'm going to open up computer, and I see the U drive uh, connection down here. Let's open that up. All right. Since I'm special, I've got access to a lot of folders here. So you won't see quite as many as, as I've got. Um, you're going to have this one, this Geography GIS. And you're going to also have one similar to this classwork one. You're gonna have, it's going to say Geography 370 or something like that. The Geography GIS is the, the folder that contains our data library. So that's when you get the library down um, on campus for books. This is our GIS data library. So you're going to be connected to that a lot. Stuff you do for, for labs, your, your project work, that's going to all end up in this Geography 370 folder. So let's start off by connecting to the Geography GIS. Click on that, say OK. And now I actually see something over here in the folder connections. Open the, uh, the little tree up, and I see all the subfolders that I've got here. Um, this is organized roughly in two different ways by data type. We've got a lot of here photos that are all grouped together. Um, we also got kind of a base scale, so data sets that are for the whole world. We're stuck on the world. We've got North American data sets, USA, down to state and county. Um, so if I click on Wisconsin, I can get an idea of, of what I've got for Wisconsin. So over here in contents, this contents pane. I can see I've got a digital elevation model, some DNR data sets, uh, hill shade, exciting, exciting stuff. All right. So one way to look at the data is these thumbnails. I can switch up here, uh, different icons. This icon's telling me whether or not I got a point data set, or a polygon data set, I got a raster. Uh, I'll switch to different views here. Then I can also look at individual data sets. Let's take county here and switch to preview. Now I can see what it looks like spatially. And I also can go down to this preview and switch to the table and see what attributes I've got. All right, so I got something useful here like county name or whatever. All right, there we go. Intro, first intro to our catalog. Yay!